Luke chapter 12 Meanwhile, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. He began to speak first to his disciples, We were of the living, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed door will be proclaimed in the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that they can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one whom, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins, yet not one of them has escaped notice of God? Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of on possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do, for I do not have space to store more harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grains and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now is for you. You have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus it will be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not reaching what matters to God. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life and what you will eat or about your body and what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Nothing that ravens, they do not sow or reap. They have neither stored house to barn, yet God feeds them. How much more important are you than birds? Can any of you be worrying at a moment to your lifespan? If even the smallest things are beyond your control, why are you anxious about the rest? Notice how the flowers grow. They do not toil or spin, but I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass in the field that grows today and it's thrown into the oven tomorrow, will be not much more provide for you? 
Will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? As for you, do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not worry any more. All the nations of the world seek for these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these other things will be given you besides. Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for your slaves that do not wear out, an ex inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor must destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your loins and light your lamp, and be like serpents who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have left his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not know, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if the servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then the servant's master will come on an unexpected day at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will, be, will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with it will show beaten severely. And the servant who was ignored and ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. I have come to set on earth, the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and the two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and the son against his father. A mother against her daughter, and the daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He also said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the, winds, the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot. 
and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret present time? Why do you not judge for yourself what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny.